All right, artist, we have watched the story, Snowman at Night, and now it's time for you to think about what might snowmen do at night, and we are going to illustrate your idea. So we're going to make a picture that shows your idea of what snowmen would do at night. If they could come alive and do whatever they wanted, what do you think they would do? So we could use ideas from the storybook. So there was some sled riding snowmen. There were some ice skating snowmen. There were some snowmen hanging out, drinking hot chocolate. So deciding what do you want your snowman to be doing. So to draw our snowman or snowman, it depends on if you want multiple ones, I'm gonna draw the snowman first. Um, for most examples, if I was going to have a snowman sledding down a hill though, then I might make the hill first and draw the snowman. Mine are going to be kind of standing around, listening to music, and um, drinking some hot cocoa. So, they're going to be different sizes, or slightly different sizes. There could be a little child snowman. All right, so I've got my snowman basics. I'm gonna give them their noses, their triangle noses, and some eyes. Oops. And my snowmen are gonna be happy. And so far, this is just showing the snowman. So thinking, how can I show what my snowmen are doing? And that is going to be through the details that we include in our picture. And you might want to switch to um, a pencil at this point and then go over it with a marker or crayon. Anything in our picture um, that snow is going to be left white. We're going to end up coloring everything that is not snow. So let's say I want my snowman to be drinking some hot chocolate. I am going to actually draw my cup of hot chocolate. And and then I can draw my snowman stick arm so that they connect. You wouldn't really be able to see much of the other arm. And maybe this snowman is going to be eating, hmm, oh my goodness, toasted marshmallows. Oh gosh, he'll have to be careful not to catch his stick arm in the fire, right? So he is going to be holding a stick with some toasted marshmallows on it. Oh, Miss Apollo loves s'mores. Maybe you've had s'mores before. Those are those toasted marshmallows with chocolate and graham crackers. And Maybe over here he could be holding that some more. Squished with a, a some more sandwich. And here's some marshmallows to make some more. So maybe I need to draw ooh, a little fire, right? To show where they toasted the s'mores. And with your pictures, you're just gonna think in your head, ooh, what does fire look like, right? And I know the flames kind of wiggle and move around, so I use some wavy, wiggly lines to show fire, and of course I'll have some other colors that I can mix in that. I'm gonna make it like it's, um, like in a fire pit, a rock. If you've ever gone camping maybe, or some of you might even have this in your, your yard, or been to someone's yard where they have a fire pit. So those are the rocks going around, and this little guy, is going to be drinking a milkshake 
He has a peppermint milkshake that he gets to have. Um, and so it's starting, starting to look like a picture. And again, adding details like hats can make our pictures a little more interesting to look at, a little more fun, a little more personal. This one, the top hat. Most of this I'm going to color in with crayons, but we don't like how I could see that underneath line, so I'm covering up. So you're starting to get the idea of the scene of the snowmen. So we've done some snowmen drawings or collages before, and now instead of just having the plain snowmen, we're going to have them doing something, using your imagination to show your snowmen doing something, including as many details as you could think of. So here I'm going to add the moon because it's nighttime and some stars. You could just have little circles for stars if you wanted. I'm gonna make it, ooh, lines coming out to make it look like the moon is shining bright. And of course you could even add um, some little snowflakes in, but we'd have to color around all of those if you decided to do that. So once the drawing part is complete, you're gonna switch to coloring in. You can use your markers um, or your crayons will give you a lot more um, choices as far as colors. And just starting to color in your picture, remembering that the snow would be white. So I actually need to add one more thing. Where does the sky end and the ground start? So that's called a horizon line. So I'm going to add it's kind of a soft line in the background so that I know this is snow and this is sky. I don't need to color the snow part in. I could also add trees if I wanted to. The details of what you want to include in your picture are up to you. Um, but for the coloring, I want you to be very conscious and thinking what would be snow, because that's where our paper will stay white, and anything that's not snow is going to get colored, and that includes the sky, the space around the snowman. You could use blue, you could make it a rainbow if you wanted to. I'm thinking about it being nighttime, the snowman at night. And so I'm actually gonna color my background in purple. And so that's the part that's gonna take the longest. I won't keep the video going for all of that. I'll put you on fast forward so you can see what it looks like when it's finished. But I'm going to create this border, this thick crayon area around the parts that are going to get colored in. That's gonna help me remember to keep my white parts of my picture white and to create a nice border where I don't go over or outside of my line. So once I did this everywhere, then I can start to color the spaces in between. So going right to that border I created lets me color a little bit faster later on even though making the border takes a little bit of extra time. I can't wait to see what you come up with. All right, and I'm just about done coloring in whoop, the moon and the stars. So looking at your picture to decide if you're done is everything that's not supposed to be white colored in. So we started with white paper and parts of our picture are white because of the snow and the snowmen. But to really make those snowmen stand out Need to color everything around them doing our best coloring covering up the white of the paper staying in the lines and making a nice complete finished beautiful original artwork I cannot wait to see 
your creation.